uh, if, if let's say you had a overly critical father yes and he probably told you that ukiwa mtoto wewe ni mjinga kama mama yako you know no matter how bright you are yes that thing just holds you in your mind that you you, you know that smart yeah and you may even grow and, and and you fight and through society and you even become a, your own ceo and you, you and and you have this large company but but there's this thing that follows you that you you fall short in terms of your intelligence yes and and, and you're not realizing that you've been held captive by those words that we we you know you mm-hmm. you're stupid and and all these things mm. pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits Oh, last week we were in this amazing series that we started with uh, uh, Pastor Joseph Moshiri on uh, you know who am I and so we were talking about the things that distort our identity and we tackled on various things and uh, Pasi is right here and uh, karibu sana Pasi Asante sana It's yes. been uh, it's it's been a wonderful wonderful series kwanza ukoaje Pasi wiki yako imekuaje It's been great uh-huh. uh, yeah mm-hmm. uh, amazing amazing now uh, last week we talk, we were talking about the things that distort mm, our identity yes yes and we talked about uh, comparison, comparison and uh, lack of affirmation lack of affirmation yes and so uh, uh, maybe you can just share a sneak peek of, of what okay. we talked about yeah so so we said uh, through this whole series we've just been looking at uh, that question of who am i yeah and so we we we, we did an intro of it then uh, we looked at tackle two things that distort your identity so lack of affirmation is whereby you've not had someone growing up who has affirmed your identity mm-hmm. who's telling you you know you're on the right path this is who you are so that lack of affirmation tends to you tend to seek a validation outside of yourself so you keep looking for people to tell you you're, you're good <laughs> you know you're worthy and and all that mm-hmm. because during uh, maybe your 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 you growing up stage there was no one to do that mm-hmm. and we actually said we looked at the life of Jesus and we said that when he was being baptized there was a voice that came from heaven and said that this is my beloved son in whom I am pleased with so the father affirmed the son before he started ministry yeah. and so you may say you don't have a parent uh, you, you you grew up without a father and all these things mm-hmm. but but god is a father to the fatherless and through the uh, the working in working presence of the holy spirit he mm-hmm. bears witness to our identity mm-hmm. and and also he may place uh, fatherly figures in your path who will affirm that identity then we looked at the second thing which really really kills our identity and, and and that is comparison mm-hmm. and we said comparison it robs you mm-hmm. you of you mm. it it robs you of your authentic self and, yes. and it robs the world of the gifts and talents that mm-hmm. that are inside of you mm-hmm. and we said a uh, comparison will 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 breed uh, pride if you compare your pep- uh, yourself with people who are less than you yes and it leads to envy when you compare yourself to people who are more than you and so we said uh, you ne- really need to explore the gifts and talents that are inside of you yes and then walk in those don't don't compare even seasons with other people your mm-hmm. path is just different you know and, and and even the people you're called to minister to are just different mm-hmm. yeah amazing amazing and so this morning we are talking about strong the strongholds yes so we want to start from that point what what, what is what are, what are strongholds and um, what is stronghold Okay. So so uh, the first thing is that you realize in the Bible uh strongholds doesn't appear so much there. I think it appears twice or thrice in regards to mental. And it's in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 4 to 5. And it says that uh it says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. Mm. And then it, it goes down and says casting down imaginations and every high thing that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God and then it says so we bring these things to captive to the obedience of Christ so if you look at that portion of scripture everything i've just mentioned is of the mind it's 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 inside of you yani it's in your mind and so for me i describe a stronghold as a it's a fortress of lies that have been built over time mm-hmm. and you have believed them as truth So it was a lie initially but then over time 
you believe this lie to be truth mm -hmm. and so what happens is that uh the lie may be you will not amount to anything that's a lie but then your negative experiences validate that lie so if you hit roadblocks in your life let's say you started applying for a job there's that lie that was there that you'll never amount to anything yes but then if you let's say you start applying for a job and things don't work out mm -hmm. then internally you feel it has confirmed that word that you'll never amount to anything mm -hmm. then with time you perceive it as truth i don't amount to anything and it becomes now a stronghold in your mind that there are areas and 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 and, and, see, and, and things you cannot move in because there's something in your mind that has that is holding you captive yes amazing and 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 you're talking about things that hold us captive and so we're talking about some of the strongholds in terms of uh, our identity yeah what are some of these strongholds that actually distort uh, in, in terms of you know in terms of uh, you know in terms of uh are those things that you feel like these are things that are fighting us uh, let's talk about you know the uh, the things that we believe yeah maybe the things that we grew up in and i believe yeah. that people come from different backgrounds yeah. people believe in the people who believe in your child yeah yeah whatever you believe you yeah. know like as in you know this uh, that do you believe uh, th there's there's things that maybe the occult activity that can actually distort our that can actually someone uh, you know maybe our identity has been stolen because of maybe a place where we came from yeah yeah it, it's it's possible uh, though i uh i wouldn't say it's stolen mm -hmm. it's 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 more of a blindfold has been placed in your mind. Uh -huh. You know when you when you when you're born, uh, one of the things uh, we don't realize is that well God God knows who you are. Yes, but the honor enemy may not have a full revelation of your identity, mm -hmm. but he has clues of it. Yes, like now do you know a guy who practices divination? May have been a prophet. May have been called to be a prophet. Then the enemy hijacks that person's. Uh, identity and they follow a different path mm -hmm. and i this person is gifted i can see i can see stuff within the identity so he decides yes let me corrupt this person's identity as a child yes and there's just there's just so much confusion to them mm -hmm. and then they serve me and my kingdom mm -hmm. with their gifts and talents and so that's why god says that's the purpose of a, a godly marriage is to produce a godly offspring yes so that if let's say it's kagiri your child you can see this child is going to be a prophet and and so you guard mm -hmm. their destiny and 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 and, and you mold them towards it mm -hmm. but then if there's no that molding the enemy will um uh, he'll look for ways to distort this person's identity so that they serve his kingdom with their gifts and talents mm -hmm. look at even the pop musicians that we know if you, if you trace some of uh, their history, you'll find that in their childhood ages, they used to serve in choir. They used yes. to sing for God. Yes. But at some point, the gifts got hijacked and yeah. they, they went a different way. Yeah, it's kind of true because I, I've hosted various men of God, especially yeah. even musicians, yeah. on, on the testimony. And they've been sharing that, you know what, they've been raised from a Christian background. Yeah. But uh, you know, along the way, you know, Jipata too, like as in they all moved to the secular mm -hmm. world, and then now, you know, when they come back to share their stories, they're like, you know, this thing has been there. Yeah. And then I realized that, as the scripture said, that you know, the gifts of God are without repentance. Yeah. That God has already put that thing that yeah. He knew them even before they were born. Yeah. And so, in as much, they decided to go that particular way. Yeah. And, and and even as you talk about that, allow me just to bring this issue of of things that we inherit. Mm. Let's say, pursue you coming from. Let's say you're coming from a background where you know maybe your past, your, your dad was your pastor or your bishop, mm. and now can now this one now become um, your identity now because we have seen many people inherit things. Yeah. And now these things now distort their identity. Yeah. Because like uh, because not from this particular background, you've inherited things. Probably your dad struggled with uh, this and this. So mm. can these things now now become your and distort your identity? Yeah, yeah, they can. Uh, yeah. Because uh, they, they, they are patterns and behaviors that are really hereditary. As mm -hmm. in, we, we we just pick them up. You, you can even see in, uh, in simple things like fashion. A child will most imitate how the dad. Dresses, yeah. Dr. Truth is just some similarity. 
you you find that that does something like this and they do it so yes they, they is, there's an influence of where we grew up and 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 that you know because it, it, it brings an influence on our lives and uh the only time it starts now you start discovering that you're uniquely you is when now you come into christ and then god starts revealing to you that you you're not your father you're not your mother and uh he, he starts building that uniqueness in in in, in you mm -hmm. yeah yeah because i think it's very important when you talk about uniqueness but so even in strongholds yeah is positioning very important of 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 where you're supposed to be so that at least you get to understand who how now actually how god has called you well one of the things about strongholds is that uh we don't understand that they, are, they, they they originate in the mind yes so what we do is that we how we 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 deal with with, with strongholds in terms of spiritual warfare is uh, especially pentecostals we are, we are so much into casting out <laughs> <laughs> and and we and we have to dif differentiate between yes demonic possession and strongholds uh -huh. for a demon you cast it out in the name of jesus strongholds you pull them down with the word of god wow so it's it's casting a demon is almost instantaneous but the pulling down of strongholds is progressive it takes time because some things are the stronghold in your mind can be rooted in shame mm -hmm. it can be rooted in a very traumatic past trauma yeah you get mm -hmm. or you probably experience sexual viol you molested as a kid and, and and it brought a stronghold of shame inside of you and you've owned it deliverance does not take just it's not instantaneous mm -hmm. it's as you exposed to the word of god and as the holy spirit just brings things you know he unravels things to you mm -hmm. yeah so it's 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 an ongoing process very very ongoing because sometimes you might think that uh just passing a kelemi corn on it doesn't uh, yeah yeah uh -huh. and, and part of deception and, mm -hmm. and the reason we we get into caught up into this this false prophets and false teachers yeah is because we want an instantaneous deliverance and we, we, we don't want to go through this process of having our minds being renewed by the word of god we we, we, do, we don't want to go and spend time with god at the sacred place and 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 you lay prostrate at him and 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 you become vulnerable and you just tell him god why 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 am i struggling with this and he unravels you and, and he tells you it started here it started here you you do this you need to you pray you need to read this word you need to read this portion of scripture you need to see this person as it, we, we, we don't want to go through that we just want it as you said and 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 and, and it's gone yet uh the, the the book of romans i think 12 12 12 2 it says that be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind yeah there's also a proverb that says that as a man thinketh so he becomes so the thing that sets you free from strongholds is actually the truth and that's why it says that the truth you shall know the truth and that truth that you know shall set you free mm -hmm. so you may be dealing with you're trying to let's say it's alcoholism yes you're just dealing with the symptoms but then there's a stronghold in this person's mind that either it's guilt either it's rooted in shame but there's an origin to it and that's why you 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 are unable to come to be completely free of something and so what happens is that once you have the presence of the holy spirit inside of you he he knows when to unravel different things at different seasons so you may find you're not free yani at 100% mm -hmm. he 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 knows how to how do i put it cancel you in a way that he does not overwhelm you yeah he, he doesn't come to you with 20 things that you need to do at once it's one thing 
once you're done he comes another time with that thing he tells you you see this thing it's it's rooted in unforgiveness you still hold a lot of bitterness towards you one parent maybe nini he comes again and tells you you know this thing is rooted in shame you 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 you've never completely loved yourself you've never received and like that like that like that so with time that truth as as it seeps into your heart and seeps into your mind you just find things fall off actually you may not even know when something fell off mm-hmm. but in the process of just walking and and and, and being in tune with the holy spirit and you reading the word you just find things start changing in your life wow yeah amazing and off mic we're talking about some of the things that we we agree of to believe yeah, yeah. and and pastor Mushir, you know it's very important for us to share this because some of us grew up in a background where we all have been told is lies yeah and so we have li- lies it, it lies about god lies about yourself lies about how you see god lies about what actually of who you are you're called to do or who you're called to what who you're called to be and so it's very important for us to talk about this the lies that you've believed yeah yeah it uh, it could have been it, it may begin with first of all let's say your parent your parents yeah you see like uh if, if let's say you had a overly critical father yes and he probably told you that ukiwa mtoto wewe ni mjinga kama mama yako you know no matter how bright you are yes that thing just holds you in your mind that you, you you're not that smart yeah and you may even grow and and, and you fight and through society and you even become a, your own ceo and you and and you have a, this large company but but there's this thing that follows you that you you fall short in terms of your intelligence yes and and, and you're not realizing that you've been held captive by those words that where were you know you mm-hmm. you're stupid and and all these things mm-hmm. a stronghold can also be built through trauma and i'll yes. give you an example mm-hmm. let's say it's a lady and she experiences uh, she was sexually molested as a child you see that brought feelings of shame and unworthiness and so you grow up knowing i i i, I don't amount to that much i fall short now you see it's a lie but as i said what what reinforces a stronghold and makes it really a stronghold is when you experience negative experiences that validate that lie so like the example i'm using she was sexually molested as a child so there are feelings of shame these feelings of unworthiness now assume she starts dating <laughs> and then gets rejected then it confirms the lie that i'm actually unworthy mm-hmm. so your negative experiences actually validate the lie if let's say as i told you your parent maybe alimwambia ai wewe ni mjinga nini then another you go to school and one of your teachers tells you the same thing you are as dumb as you see it's reinforcing something with time you actually believe it so the stronghold becomes a stronghold when you take the lie as truth and so like that person who's it's 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 rooted in unworthiness and shame yes the truth that breaks that stronghold will be like it, it will be like your true value does not come from anything you own or did it comes from the price that was bought for you at calvary so that breaks it you realize my value as a human being comes from the price that was paid for me by the shed blood of jesus yes so you start defining yourself from that point of view but as i said it's 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 a really it's a process mm-hmm. and one of the things i can say and uh to someone who feels i've had a lot of trauma in my growing up is that god is not careless with your emotions he knows when to reveal something at a, at a potent season in your life mm-hmm. so that you don't get overwhelmed akujangi and just gives you everything and, and he's like you have to change all of this at once no he knows when you're making progress and he's gentle let me put it that way he's he's both gentle and firm so he knows uh i'll not reveal and I'll, I'll not ask you to overcome this at this season because there's there's too much of 
there's too much trauma cons- involved in it yes so he'll reveal things gradually mm-hmm. as as you build capacity as you trust him as you heal yani it's, it's not a one off thing mm-hmm. and that's why we really need to be exposed to the word of god mm-hmm. yeah so this person who is going through trauma and uh, because sometimes you have mentioned that this these strongholds of trauma sometimes they can they can put us in that, that place of for us you know feeling pity about ourselves and everything yeah and i've seen many ladies especially um and i've i've been i've been getting more messages saying that you know what because of uh where i'm coming from i perceive men as like this yeah and that is something that you know sometimes you cannot even and as much you encourage them that you know what god has a good plan for you but yeah. this thing has been there for like 20 years yeah uh, this uh, like you mentioned this thing is that is a, is a whole process so how how do you you know encourage this person to position themselves yeah. so that they may be able to get their mind of this thing of of you know probably something that initially and each and every time they see a man it triggers them that this guy you know yani it reminds me of what happened so how do you get your mind from 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 this stronghold of the things that have been there for many years okay one of the things is i'll, I'll say is 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 actually build intimacy with God. Let it begin there. Have have this place and we tend to call it the secret place. Yes. A place where you can just be mm-hmm. completely vulnerable and honest with God mm-hmm. and just tell him uh like what you said for the lady. Uh I I, I simply don't trust men. Mm-hmm. You know. And and you you you're very open and very vulnerable with God. Yes. And from there he he may question you know he may he may already knows what what what's going on in your life it's mm-hmm. it's you who doesn't know mm-hmm. and so spending that time it can be a few minutes to almost an hour but having that place a secret place where you can just go and and just be open and vulnerable with god yes it it helps bring uh some of these op- 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 uh, emotions to light Number two, God may bring he's a he's a restorer. And you may have previous past negative relationships, but he may bring one to your life that actually brings healing to you. Mm-hmm. And 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 that breaks the distortion that is in your head. So if like you are dating, maybe you've dated men who've just been this way. Maybe the last person who God brings in your life will compensate for all these other bad ones by he may love you in a way that you've never been loved before mm-hmm. wow and by that bring healing you see mm-hmm. god may also position fatherly figures in your life and and they start breaking the distortion you have you know let's say about men you realize okay this person just genuinely has an interest in me without motive without arterial motive and so it's that it's that's breaking but he has a way of through the word through life experiences and and they bring that into your life if it's you believe you he may bring people who actually affirm yes your intelligence mm-hmm. they are like wow kagiri that that was really smart and 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 it's and you can tell it's not being hyped someone is actually genuinely he believes yeah you are smart and with time it it starts changing the narrative in your head yeah another one may be you may you may be in a season whereby you're in a pit and the stronghold in your life is that this will never change and you believe it yani this this situation i mean mm-hmm. will never change and god may break that stronghold by giving you or exposing you to a testimony of where someone believed things will never change and then they changed yeah and you see it starts reconditioning your your mind mm-hmm. but i'll say also be careful what you consume because our the, the the eyes are actually windows to the soul yes because we do not understand there is an unseen war where the the enemy reconditions our mind through entertainment and do you know the serpent <laughs> he appeared to eve yes. as a serpent mm-hmm. But the serpent of this day is actually entertainment. Wow. <laughs> True. It's entertainment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because even 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 the word of God says faith comes by hearing. Yeah. And so sometimes you can even the things that we listen to. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. 
Uh, and Pasi, uh, allow me just to bring this because even as we talk about the, the traumas and, and everything, mm. and I think sometimes because of the experiences that we have had, sometimes I realize that Christians, sometimes we can bear unforgiveness and bitterness and we don't really know. Yeah. When I was to uh, mention uh, Israel, I stuck stories of Israel. Mm. Like, because there's something you still hold unforgiveness. Yeah. And this is some of the strongholds. So how do you break this? Maybe, you know, there's some things someone told me that Israel, hey, Mika Jumtal in Fanyi, I don't think I'll be able to forgive that person. Mm. And I realized that, you know, that thing you cannot, you can, it cannot just happen overnight. Yeah. You have, first of all, to deal with the bitterness. Yeah. So how do you deal with, with bitterness and, and unforgiveness as, as a stronghold? Mm. Number one, uh, is, is actually giving God the room to be your vindicator. That, that, that you say, Lord, mm. I'm not going to repay evil with evil, but I'm going to give you room for you to vindicate me. If, if, if something wrong has come out of, yani, uh, I have been wronged. Yes. But you give ro uh, God room for because he's he, he's just mm -hmm. and and he can bring justice into your life yeah but it's also to understand that unforgiveness and bitterness it's like it's like drinking rat poison mm -hmm. and expecting the rat to die <laughs> yes <laughs> it, it's it's you who's getting hurt by it mm -hmm. it's 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 you who's been robbed of your life and your joy and your peace by holding on to unforgiveness and hurt mm -hmm. So, you 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 realizing I'm 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 really wasting a lot of time in this, you know I'm th that that you cannot be complete you you're not free to enjoy your life yes. because you you clinging to something, mm -hmm. and so the the moment you realize it's it's it hurts you more than <laughs> it's hurting the other person, you realize anyway I I have to let go of this thing, and I have to allow God, whatever I feel I lost. You allow God to be your restorer. Mm -hmm. You allow God to be your vindicator. You know, yeah. And and I think that that point is very important to allow God. You know, most of the times when someone go, ah, ah. Mm. I remember someone was telling me, nah, I mean, take a biblia candle to deal now. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I realized you cannot put the word of God aside, to, to yeah. know, because most of the times we just want to say that this thing, ah, ah, he God watch to uyum to apana. And so uh, allow me just even to bring this this stronghold of also the unconfessed sin in our lives. Yeah. Because there's some things that also we have done mm. and uh, they have kind of mm. distorted our identity. Mm. And 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 the, and it's very important for us to understand indeed there's no sin that Jesus Christ cannot forgive. Mm. But most of the times we have not confessed those sins. Mm. Yeah. One let me uh, say something about this idea of confession. Mm. You see to confess is is to agree is to say same as mm -hmm. so when i confess a sin i'm agreeing with god in relation to it i'm not i'm not making excuses yes so confession the first part of confession is is is, is it's a word that denotes same as let's say like it's porn you agree with god mm -hmm. that what i what i was watching was actually wrong i'm not giving an excuse i'm agreeing with god that is wrong Repentance is where there's a turning of direction. So I start with confession. I, I, I agree with God. Yani, whatever, whatever this happened is wrong. And for me to start confessing, I have to, have to see it the way God sees it. I'm, I'm not saying this is, this is not so much of a bad sin. This is, I'm just looking at it the way God is seeing it. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm not calling it. I'm not calling evil good or good evil. If it's evil, it's evil. Mm -hmm. And I'm not making excuses for it. Yes. Repentance is where I I, I, I have a change of direction. I, I was heading right and I changed direction, I go left. For for there to be yani ile true you see, true repentance is not scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't plan to repent. Wow. You repent the moment the Holy Spirit convicts you. Amazing. And for it to be really transformative and, and, and really change, then truth has to come into your mind. And you see sin as sin. 
you, you don't call it half a sin you don't call it lesser sin <laughs> it's a sin so truth has to come and i'll give you uh, let's make an example of let's say gossip you gossip <laughs> so the holy spirit comes and convicts and is like your gossiping is not right yes uh for you to confession now confession is where you you come and, and you agree with god's word that gossiping is not right mm -hmm. Repentance is where you turn away now from gossiping. No, for me to turn, do you know, there's a place where light comes. Yes. Is where I see the effects of my gossip on other people. That someone shared something with me in private. Mm -hmm. I've gone saying it everywhere. And I've actually divided people. I've caused close friends to separate because of my gossip. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing it differently, and so I start changing. So I start now like inviting the Holy Spirit and telling Him, put 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 a leash on my tongue. Yes. Let me not be even involved in any form of gossip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And so it calls even for humility for you to come to that place of accepting. Yeah. But but light has to come so that you see sin as sin. Mm -hmm. As long as long as you're you're calling it something else. Yeah. Then they cannot be repentance because uh, where will you only come a sin? You you're not seeing it the way God is seeing it. You you you're not seeing. Let's say. Uh, like, there there are those less sins. We 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 tend to think they are less sins. <laughs> yeah. But in the eyes of God, mm -hmm. they are just sin. Yes. So confession allows you to, ukuje your part. Yeah, God, you start seeing things the way He's seen it, and you look at seen in his it in its it's it's disgusting and it's if you're if you're evil it's falling short so repentance yani light has to come then there's true repentance because now you change direction and, and you can see something for what it is you, you you're not calling it or making excuse for it you're not saying god but but you see i repent of porn but but you see i'm i'm not married I'm not you, you know there's no excuse you've yes. seen it mm -hmm. it's it's destructive and you've seen it as god is seen it so that place of light is where now true repentance now comes because now you you completely turn away from something because now you you, you you're on the same page with god in regards to it yes yeah wow that is so amazing you know someone said that sometimes we can justify our sins yeah as a ah, but but god don't understand yeah you understand <laughs> <laughs> <But> so, <laughs> <laughs> you know yes. you, you mentioned the scripture in the book of second corinthians chapter 10 yeah uh, from verse 4 that for our weapons are of our offer not carnal but they are mighty uh, god. through god pulling down those strongholds yeah and so uh maybe someone is listening this wonderful morning and as a this thing this thing has been in me like as in i understand kuna vitu zenye i have grown up believing and i've been in this particular baby i've gone through these traumas maybe i have someone confessing so maybe you can just speak to that person this evening this morning i mean yeah now one thing i want to tell you is that uh when, one one of the promises of jesus was that he told us yes that he'll send us another helper and that helper who is the holy spirit one of the names of him is that he's a counselor mm. And so I want to tell someone that God is not afraid of your emotions. He he's not afraid of your rants. He's not afraid of your anger. And so you 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 have to realize that uh the safest place you can be for your emotions is with God. He's he he has a gentleness with having known you, having seen what happened to you. So he knows when 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 to reveal certain things in your life at and, and at what season yes there's a way he may not ask you this is a the, the, there's a time you're, you're you're probably too emotional or, or you're going through some things yani he knows when when is the season for something to come to an end mm -hmm. in your life he, he knows when it's time for this this healing you know to come through you yani and 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 what i'm saying is that god is not careless with your emotions he he's he has a gentleness and a firmness mm -hmm. and so he's the best person to actually just come to him and just tell him god this happened in my life 
I was hot. I was I was someone uh, broke the boundaries. They hurt me and, and 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 you know and all these things. He he's a healer. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying bring bring those difficult emotions and those hearts and and bring them to to God. Yeah, you know, at the feet of the cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and that is so amazing and, and what of this person say that you know yes i've heard this thing but now i want to protect myself maybe i want to put that helmet so that these strongholds they don't come near me so how do i how do i cover myself from from these strongholds one is saturate your mind with the word of god as in uh change your diet of what you're feeding your mm-hmm. eyes with mm-hmm. <laughs> you know as i said today's serpent is is not a snake it's actually entertainment so like like what you guys are doing at pal this is yani saturate yourself with music that is worship and 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 and, and start watching good things so that those strongholds stop stop being built yeah and, and the more you saturate yourself with the, with the word of god the more you start bringing those walls down the other thing is to to realize this that the beauty of deliverance is it allows the beauty that is you to thrive there's there's, there's a beauty that is you that is held in bondage by strongholds mm. and you need to let that person that is the authentic you live and thrive there's, there's nothing about there's nothing good about you shrinking to opportunities but i can tell you 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 you'll actually be very proud of yourself once you you know you start stepping out when you you're not bound by things yani that's yes. what i'm saying the beauty of deliverance is that it allows the beauty that is you to thrive mm-hmm. it allows that you that is unique to actually live majua there is god it actually says god has not given us a spirit of bondage but it's a spirit of adoption and sonship there's there's a freedom god called you to live in <laughs> and there's a beauty in freedom there's a beauty of you living not in pain and hurt and mm-hmm. unforgiveness mm-hmm. there's a, there's a, there's a there's a peace of mind that is beautiful with you letting go and what of you yeah amazing and, and you feel it's too hard to let go mm-hmm. then i'll take you back to the cross that jesus after they had done everything to him he said he still said father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and the same way there are people who've hurt you there are people who probably molested you but like jesus they 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 they, they lived in ignorance they, they it's people who live in they are covered you know in darkness you know my father yeah, yeah. and so allow god to heal you that is so powerful Pasi. Yeah. Thank you so much for for, for sharing and thank you so much for allowing God to use you. But we are going to pause on that on yeah. that and I will just allow that to 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 sink in yeah. on those strong words and I believe that we bless this wonderful morning. And but Pasi even b- before we pray this morning, yeah. I would just want to encourage guys to to continually uh, partner with Pal Radio even as we uh so continually just do what we do best that is to evangelize to mm. empower and to entertain and so this morning i want to just to take 30 seconds and and just reflect on what you have had this wonderful morning and say that i'm going to become a blessing to pal radio uh, through my giving and so if you want to partner with us if you want to channel your giving this wonderful morning the empresa pay bill number is seven six five three hundred and the account number is your name and i believe that God is going to bless you as well because the Bible says that whoever refreshes others also shall be refreshed as well. And so th- thank you so much for becoming a PAL partner and say that, you know what, I'm going to be giving towards PAL Radio this wonderful morning. It has been a blessing and I want to be a blessing to PAL Radio. So the Empress Bible number is 765300 and uh, the account number is your name. Pasi, yes. before you pray, how can guys get in touch with you on social media and also maybe you can share your contact as well? <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm usually in, on Instagram uh-huh. and my handle is Joe Mushiri. J O E M U C H I R Y. And then my phone number is 0720-792-448. Repeat the number again. 0720-792-448. Amazing. Pasi, pray with us. 
I pray actually for us this wonderful uh, morning, just a minute, yeah, because we are to hit the top of the hour. Okay. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I commit every person who's tuned in into this uh, time, Almighty Father. I, you, you have, you ordained uh, their life from the foundation of the world, Almighty Father. And mm -hmm. even you knew that they'd be tuning in at this time, oh God. And so I pray, oh God, for that soul, Almighty Father, that has been wounded, Almighty Father, that has grown up in uh, uh, with traumas, Almighty Father, from childhood, Almighty Father. I pray, Almighty Father, that through the power of the Holy Spirit, you may bring healing upon them, Almighty Father. I want to uh, ask of them, Almighty Father, that they shall put their trust in you, Almighty Father, because you are not afraid of their emotions. You are not afraid of their anger. You are not afraid of... Uh, even uncovering the the things of, of their past, oh my father, you're not afraid of them, oh God. And so they should feel uh, safe in your hands, oh God, because you're a good and 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 you are a good father, oh my father. And so I pray for that person, oh my father, who's uh, just stuck and and there's this fortress of lies in their mind, oh my father, and it's leading to depression and anxiety and probably when someone is suicidal, oh my father, because of the strongholds in their life that keep telling them that they are. They are not worthy that they are not uh they will not amount to much you no know, maybe the stronghold in someone's life is that uh things will never change oh god and i pray oh mighty father that the truth of the word of god may come through them oh mighty father as pal redu keeps uh spreading its wings across the world oh mighty father may this word of truth be the answer for someone oh mighty father as you have declared in your word that they shall hear the we, we shall know the truth and that truth shall set us free and so i pray almighty oh father that someone may receive a word th this morning through the preachings in different platforms oh my father may they receive a word that is going to demolish the strongholds in their life oh my father and i pray for someone who is struggling with bitterness and unforgiveness oh my father let them uh give you the space to be their vindicator oh my father let them not hold on to 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 anger and rage oh my father but then let them release it to you oh god because you well capable of handling the emotions of my father and i pray oh god someone may open up the door for the holy spirit who is the counselor to come into their life oh mighty father and to come and comfort them oh mighty father and to come and give them direction oh god and i pray oh mighty father that someone will realize oh mighty father that true deliverance allows the beauty that is you to thrive oh mighty father that they shall start embracing that authentic self so, oh mighty father that you created oh god i pray oh god even uh, for those who are seeking, uh, uh, who are confessing their sins and they're into a season of repentance, that light shall come into those areas that they are struggling with, Almighty Father, and that they shall receive help through the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare blessing upon these listeners, Almighty Father, and even as we uh, begin our day, Almighty Father, may that word, that Rema word that we need, may it come from different places and we will receive it in the mighty name of jesus I declare blessing upon your people in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit amen amen and amen and amen thank you so much Pasi. we do this again next week yes we're going to be concluding on this yeah, amazing we'll series on and uh, we'll be sharing with you actually what you expect it's going to be super super powerful and uh, that is actually people pleasing because people pleasing, people pleasing. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah, i think that is, to, yeah, kila mtu tuna amazing so watch out for that uh, 96.9 fm pearl radio